Hi guys, ready for the description? Watch this video. If you decide to go for the recipe essay in about, watch this video and you will succeed. And writing a description will be a piece of cake. First of all, remember that a description gives a vivid image of the person, place or thing you are describing. So in the description you should include details that make the reader visualize what or who you are describing. It will be very important to pay attention to all the details and include the five senses. Good thing is to plan your introduction and your essay. So, as usual, you should include the introduction, the body and the conclusion. The more a structure, the better. Remember, you will get 1.5 out of 4. So, let's start with the introduction, the first part. Let's include a strong introduction. The introduction sets the scene of the object, place or thing you are describing. So it's very important to grab the reader's attention. So if you are writing an essay about your best friend or a special friend, so why not start in the introduction by saying, Pepe is my best friend because he's a shoulder where I can cry on, or is a person I share a special sense of humor, why not? Or even you can say, that is the person to whom you talk about a special thing. In three words, it could be a very good idea to include why you admire him or her. About an object, then it would be very interesting to choose an object that is very special for you, so it's easier to write a description. Imagine you have to describe a piece of garment. Let's say, for example, a pair of shoes. Why not? You can say, the shoes are very special because I have lived many experiences with them and they reveal my personality. Last but not least, if you have to describe a place, then you have to include why this place is special for you and what special moments you have lived there. Imagine it's a description of the best hotel room you have ever been. Why not stay in? My stay in that hotel was unique because all the memorable moments I had. Now we move on to the second part of our essay, the body, where all the details are going to be included. Again, we are going to make a difference between person, thing or place. Let us start with the person. If it were a person, then the description should include details about appearance, character, personality, and also how he or she feels in those situations. Now, when describing an object, we should include details related to size, pattern, weight, shape, what you use the object for, and when you use it. And for the place, focus on these elements. The special features of this place, why it's special for you too, also, it is worth mentioning all the details that make this place unique for you. To reach this point, now it's time for conclusion. Restate your introduction in the conclusion. Never add new ideas in the conclusion and summarize the main points you have included in the description. And finish either recommending the place or the object or even highlighting the main features you have included in the description. To finish the video, bear in mind these tips for the language you should use when describing. Place any weak adjective for a strong one, for example, boiling for hot or stilt for big. Also, include language refer to the senses, for example, if it smells like fish or it tastes like pepper. So in that way, you enrich your language. Another aspect, very important, or very important aspect, I would say, is the use of metaphors and similes. For example, he has a heart of gold. 
And finally, remember that it has to be a quite easy description to follow what you are saying about this object, things or things. And my last word for you is revision. Always revise your vocabulary, your grammar, your spelling. And remember, 175 words is the target. Now, to proceed with our future videos and all the material we are uploading and preparing for you. Teacher, te espera en los próximos videos.